Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to do these Cookie Monster Nails. So these are available from my shop. So I'll leave a link in the description for these um, Cookie Monster female slices. And these are just so cute that I just had to use these. Just had to. So I've started off on that nail with electric blue. I'm just going to take some of these out of the packet so that I can get to them easier to put them on to that nail. So I'm just going to pick them up with a wet brush and just place them on to that nail. So on this ring finger I'm going to go in with Snow White and do a full nail of that one as well. So I've just started off on that tip, make sure that that's nice and covered and then I'm just going to apply that cuticle bead and pull that down. So again, while that's still wet, I'm just going to place some of those Cookie Monsters into that wet acrylic. And then just leave them to dry and start on this middle finger. So on this one, I decided to do like a bite on this one so i'm going in with blueberry glow la la. blueberry glow and i'm just going to try and swipe that into like a semicircle like an arch like your teeth and i was going to do this brown and do speckles on it so it looked like a cookie but i decided to go for the blue So I've just applied that cuticle bead and just pulling that over, tidy that up and get it into more of a, a rounded shape. And then I'm going to take a C curve tool and just pull out little half circles so that it looks like somebody has bit into that. So I'm just going to take my brush now and just tidy that up. Let's just make sure that's nice and rounded off. And then I'm going to go in and fill that with white. And then moving on to that pointer finger, this one is going to be flock. So I'm just going to do a base on this one of blueberry glow. So just a, a really thin coat of blueberry glow. Yeah, I can't even say that word. Blueberry glow all down this nail, just so that if there's any bits missing, there's still blue under that flock. And that is these so far. So I'm just going to cap the one with the most um, cookie monsters on for you. And because they're a bit raised, I'm going to start halfway down. And then just concentrate on getting it all the way around them cookies, down the sides. Because you don't want to leave gaps underneath. Otherwise you'll spoil the shape of your nail. So... Gonna concentrate on making sure them sides and underneath any little edges of them cookie monsters are fully 
got um, acrylic under there then I'm going to shape that and then I will go in like this one the right little gap so I'm just going to fill that in check both sides make sure they're all fully covered pat that into shape and then I will go in and apply that cuticle bead so I'm just going to place that near that cuticle tip that finger down pat and pull pat and pull And then I will go in and I'm going to cap the rest of these nails. I will file them and I will be back to show you how I do the flock. Right, so I'm just going to take some white acrylic paint and I'm just going to write on the middle finger. So I've just got a fine detailing brush and just making sure that that isn't too thick so I thought I'd do this part first to give it a chance to dry before I do the flock so on this finger I'm just going to write eat me on this finger so I'm just marking out first the letters and then I'll go back in and do that a bit thicker Okay, so I'm just going to go back in now and just thicken them lines up slightly. And then do the same for the me. sure you clean your brush otherwise that will set out or you don't want to ruin your brushes so I'm just going to clean that up and then I will do the flock so I'll just move all that out of the way <clears throat> so when you get flock in your little pots normally it's really clumped together so I just like to take I was just deciding then which one to use and I've decided to go for a darker one. Yeah. So when you get it, it's normally compact. So I like to get some tweezers and then just pull it a bit out and put it into that lid and then break that up. It's a lot easier to work with if it's in finer sections. So I'm gonna top coat the nail I'm not going to top coat the rest of them yet till I've done this and give, give that paint a chance to dry on that writing. So on this one I'm going to apply a few um, cookies on this. So I'm just going to place a couple on. And then I'm just going to take them tweezers and start filling round that them cookies and do that full nail in this flock so it's like a a velvety texture on this so i'm just dropping it on and then just gently moving that about with the tweezers so just keep tapping it and it'll spread that out a bit and knock any excess off so you can see where you're missing any bits. Just tap it again. 
So I've got a fine little bit on that tip and then I'm going to bang that into the lamp for a minute. No, I am not. Do you know? I'm going to top coat them and then put it into the lamp. But these are so cute. But as usual, they'll be where I got them all from in the description colours of the acrylics and the cookie monsters so you can check that out so I'm just going to pop that in for a minute and then when that comes out I'm just going to take a little brush and just dust that um, flock so there's no loose bits on there clean these up and I will leave you with the finished set of nails Right guys, so that was this video done, to be honest, so I will see you in my next one. Bye!